Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Eternity's End, the newest content update for Shadowlands. Despite our best efforts, the Jailer has escaped his eternal prison. With a dominated Anduin at his side, he stands poised to remake the cosmos according to his vision, annihilating life as we know it. It's up to you and your allies to discover his machinations and halt his efforts. In this survival guide, we'll give you a peek at new content, features, and changes coming with Eternity's End, the final act in the Shadowlands saga, and the upcoming Shadowlands Season 3. We'll offer a deeper look into a whole new zone, an exciting new raid, the return of class sets, and much more. Enter the expansive realm of Zareth Mortis, a strange and otherworldly place tucked away in the fabric of the Shadowlands itself. A massive forge of afterlives created by the First Ones sits at its core and serves to create the domains of the Shadowlands. The Atoma, stewards of this mysterious realm, have built all that exists, but the threat is great as the Jailer intends to use the secrets of Zareth Mortis to reshape reality and bend it to his malevolent will. Team up with a curious sidekick, Pokopoke, to delve into the ciphers of the First Ones a new progression system that guides you through learning the First One's mysterious language. Use what information you glean to uncover the secrets of Zareth Mortis and unlock an array of new zone activities, daily quests, events, pets, mounts, achievements, and more. Completing various activities throughout the zone, such as map exploration, collecting hidden treasures, and finishing a quest storyline will earn you an achievement that allows you to ride your flying mounts in Zareth Mortis. As the story of Eternity's End unfolds, you'll be able to earn the Belt of Unity, a new legendary belt empowered with your Covenant's rune carving effect, which will switch freely alongside your character whenever swapping Covenants. With this legendary belt, you'll have two powerful legendary effects. The Belt of Unity will be rewarded when you complete Chapter 7 of the Zareth Mortis campaign. Complete the campaign and become revered with the Enlightened Faction to get access to the Memory of Unity which will allow you to craft the new Covenant Swapping Rune Carving effect on a different armor slot, or help your other characters get an Enlightened Legendary right away. In the weeks following the launch of Eternity's End, a new 11-boss raid that defies physics will be available. The Jailer has breached the powerful Sepulcher of the First Ones to reshape reality and bend it to his will. Gather the strength of your allies as you pursue him into the Sepulchre and fight through his forces, coming face to face with Anduin to discover a way to resist the Jailer's terrifying domination magic. Earn the new Progenitor tier set with two set bonuses to grant your character new abilities based on your specialization. This set includes five pieces, a helm, shoulders, chest piece, gauntlets, and leggings. The first set bonus is unlocked when two set pieces are equipped, and the second bonus is unlocked when four set pieces are equipped. Build your set by defeating bosses in the Sepulchre of the First One's raid, through all Great Vault activities, or other methods. A new arena beckons would-be champions to test their mettle. For eons, the Necrolords of Maldraxxus honed their craft at the Maldraxxus Coliseum. Now, the arena is open to any challengers. An additional four layers will be introduced to Torghast, and existing torments will increase in strength on these new layers. There's also a brand new game mode for Torghast called the Jailer's Gauntlet, where you'll battle your way through a series of increasingly challenging bosses to earn unique rewards. Lots of updates are coming to Mythic Plus in Shadowlands Season 3, including a brand new affix called Encrypted and the Waste Warped Deathwalker mount for those able to earn the Season 3 Keystone Master achievement. And in PvP, you'll be able to earn the Vicious Warstalker, Vicious War Croaker, and Cosmic Gladiator's Soul Eater. This is just a glimpse of the new content and features that will be ready for you to tackle in the Eternity's End update to World of Warcraft Shadowlands along with the Shadowlands Season 3 content delivered in the weeks that follow. Keep an eye on WorldOfWarcraft.com for more details on these features and more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the Shadowlands.